Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about a solid loadout for the Aurora LN. I feel that the Aurora LN is one of the best choices to start the game with. It's $45 with a game package at time of press or producing this video. Um, that makes it the most cost-effective starting package and a natural upgrade. You can use some of your rec or your UEC to buy a couple of additional weapons for it, and it makes it quite a powerful ship to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some more powerful dogfighters, but also just to grind up more wreck by fighting band or, or doing some PvP. The LN comes with two size 1 Bulldog repeaters and two size 1 M3A laser cannons as standard. My suggestion here is changing those M3A size 1 lasers to M4A size 2 lasers. Those top two wing mounts can support size 2 weapons and the M4A only costs 800 rec rental equipment credits to rent each. These weapons, then the Bulldogs and the M4As, pair really, really well together. So the Bulldogs have a projectile speed of 2650 and the M4As have a projectile speed of 2600. They travel extremely quickly, those projectiles, meaning it's quite easy to hit a target, but also that the pips pretty much are in exactly the same area. Aiming is extremely easy with these weapons. The fact that they're slightly out of sync by 50 also adds to its ability to score more hits, in my opinion. It's, if you aim very slightly, very slightly ahead of the target, uh, well, very slightly ahead of where you plan to shoot, um, you seem to get a, score a lot more hits with this build. So when flying the Aurora LN as well, I turn my sensitivity up. The craft isn't the fastest or most agile, but with good management of your boost and afterburner, so that's the shift key or double tapping shift in case of afterburner, and turning G safe off, which is control caps lock, um, that will cycle through all the safety modes, you can shred Vandal easily and avoid getting hit. Dogfighting with players is still relatively hard, but it can be done. Even if they've got better ships, you, you will learn, you will get the skill, and learning in a slower ship, learning where you have to really do maneuvers well and really have to manage your boost and stuff is, is is great because it will teach you to be a lot better pilot than people just jumping into a, a much better, much faster or much tankier ship. That being said, running out of boost and mismanaging your turns as well as a lack of spatial awareness is a one-way street to crash town. You'll want to learn how to manage that boost and that afterburner yourself, but for me, I use the boost just as I start turning. It really, really helps me get a nice, cleaner, sharper turn and then accelerate forwards towards my target or toward my intended destination much quicker. The weapons also allow for a huge amount of sustain with this build. They take a long time to overheat and consume quite limited power, so fire away. It's great for a new pilot learning to aim as well as a pro that has the ability to land a lot more hits. The Dominator 2 missiles though that come with stock with the Aurora LN, I mean they're okay. I try not to use missiles anymore. I expect them to be expensive in the verse, expensive to replace anyway. And this is a thrifty build. But this is one of the cheapest and yet quite effective builds that you can do from a starter pack, from just a just upgrading that Aurora LN with some pretty simple stuff. Especially against Vandal for grinding wreck. I heavily recommend this for your first upgrade from an Aurora LN stock build. Anyway guys, I hope my thrifty Aurora LN loadout was informative or interesting, or at least something. Please tell me what ships or weapons you would like me to look at in the future uh, in the comments below, and I will see you in the verse.